What's up everybody, this is Adam with Reese Customs and today's job is uh, stripping and repainting this antique dresser. It's got many, many, many layers of paint on it as you can see. Uh, the hinges, everything's caked up with paint. It had these little key locks. They're totally covered in paint. So we're gonna strip everything down. Uh, they don't want wood, they want it white again um, to go with the room. So what we're gonna do, that's actually beneficial to us because little nicks and little areas, we can fill those and then when we paint it back white, it'll be like uh, perfectly flat and smooth. So we're gonna try a couple different methods. We're gonna use a stripper. Well, first we're gonna try with a heat gun. So a lot of times on these old, uh, this old paint, you can heat it up and peel a lot of it off. And then what we don't get with the heat gun or if it's just too hard, depending how many layers and all there are, we'll use the uh, stripper. So let me show you a little bit around the dresser first before we get started and what we're going to do. So just to show you, you can hopefully see many layers of paint. You see where it's flaking there. It's pretty thick down to the, uh, back down to the wood. So I'm thinking at least four or five layers of paint. You can see the drawers, it's got a little mouse, uh, little mice chewed up on there. We're going to take the shelf paper out as well. But you can see uh, they are dovetail drawers. Um, the uh, original hinges, we've got flathead screws. All that helps age the piece. So we know, uh, as well as the construction, we can kind of tell how old the piece is. Um, it may even be as early as 40s or... or uh, or I should say as late as 40s or 50s. But main thing is some of the drawers, because all the paint, some of the drawers don't open and close smoothly. So we're gonna start, we're gonna take everything out. We'll set the drawers on the table to work on those separately. And then we'll work on the carcass. You can see back here. Oh, there's the date. Just kidding. It wasn't made in 1485. So we got as far as the heat gun could get us. Um, it was probably about two layers of uh, white latex paint, probably, you know, no more than 30 years old or so, so pretty safe. Um, now we're gonna use a stripper on the rest of it to take it all the way down. And there's a couple, uh, we got a couple layers left. It's the older paint, probably lead-based paint, things like that. So. Uh, I'm gonna coat this with the stripper now. We're gonna let it set, and while it's setting, we're gonna work on the, the uh, drawers. So let's put the stripper.
So I just want to show real quick, this is why you want to make sure your surface is nice and prepped before you paint, because paint's not going to hide anything. So see this yellow was kind of eat up? You see right there where they painted over in white, you can see all that roughness and all that uh, just bad surface where they just painted over it to try to hide it. Uh, that's why we're taking this all the way down to bare wood. We're going to sand it all flat before we paint it. So it's a perfect surface after it's painted. So all of these drawers had locks on them originally. And the customers had no concern with the locks working. One of them uh, joked and said, hey, you know, you're going to get those locks working again. But they know they're uh, rusted up. They're covered in paint. They're no good. They're not going to work. There's no key. But I have a surprise for them. I actually found some uh, replacements. And uh, this is kind of what they look like. This is an old one. I took out of two drawers already. I'm going to show you how I get it out. And it is a pain to remove. Because when they put these in, they're just press fit in there. And they had no intention of them ever coming back out. So I'm going to kind of go through and show you how we're going to get one out. First thing, we're going to remove this little brass decorative piece. And we're going to save these and polish them and we're going to put them back on there. So there's that piece that just fits in, presses in there. And so what I found with these things is you have to make sure all the paint's cut. If not, it'll be holding it in there like glue. So all the way around it, make sure there's no paint anywhere around it. Now, I've got a special antique lock removal tool. This is actually just a little uh, thing that you, when you're putting your springs on your trampoline, but it works perfect for this. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna stick it in the opening and there's a little tab that the center of the skeleton key goes on. So this kind of holds right there. So we're gonna tap it down. <coughs> and hope we can get it to move. I'm gonna take a uh, hammer some with the screwdriver as well. We just don't wanna damage the area around it because our little piece is gonna go back on there. We can take our screwdriver Some movement on the mechanism it's moving down so now I can take I'll take this again if I can get it far enough down I can get behind it so now it's a, it's a good way, it's a good ways out and you probably can't see, but there's the bottom of the lock. So I can maybe get this come down a little more. Now I can get behind the lock itself. And hammer it the rest of the way out. And there's the lock mechanism. So I got a little ahead of myself, started scraping some of the stripper off and it did an okay job. The citrus strip, it didn't do like some of the other uh, harsher strippers I've used before. But um, basically now 
we just got to take everywhere that there's stripper and I've got a scraper here and uh, basically scraping the stripper off in the paint and then once we get it all off we'll wipe the whole thing down and some areas we may put a, another type of stripper I have on just like some of these molding detailed areas just so I don't have to scrape and sand as much there but essentially we're just gonna go just scrape this stuff off with whatever paint will come off and go over the whole thing like that so So I just have some acetone and the steel wool. We're gonna use this to get the remaining paint up. You can see, definitely looks like maple. Good. But we gotta wipe down the whole thing. Keep on doing it. Alright, so we got all the old paint cleaned off pretty good. We're still gonna sand the whole thing, but uh, we got some repairs to do now. Um, this, of course, the feet, we're making, we're gonna replace these. We're gonna turn some new ones on the lathe because these are. Uh, that one's split and the other half of that one's completely missing. But uh, this piece of plywood in here, the top layer is split and it's just really nasty. So we're going to replace that and then this little support piece has come unglued. So we're going to put some glue in there and put a little tack in there and, and hold that up. And then the drawers, which they have stripper on them now on the fronts, but uh, there's a couple side panels with the dovetails that are uh, loose so we're gonna have to glue those as well uh, but once we get this repair done get the fronts of the drawer stripped repair those then we'll sand everything and then hopefully be ready to uh, to respray it <laughs> Just to give you an idea of what we're uh, accomplishing, this is the door. It's had two layers of uh, latex paint removed, and this is what we're left with. Well then after we strip it and clean it, this is what we're after. So nice and clean. Uh, we still have to sand it to get, you know, little places. Uh, we'll scrape like in there and make sure everything's flat, but that's the best way to make sure your new paint's gonna lay down and look perfect, look like it's new. If not, all these little voids and pits and all that, that'll show straight through the new paint. So there's, unless the surface is prepped correctly, the new paint's gonna look like crap. So I will really like the way the wood looks, but we're gonna paint it.
now that we got all the big areas sanded, now we have to go back with some sandpaper and get all these detail areas just to make sure they're uh, nice and smooth. So what we can do is we can take like a drill bit. I got one over here. Or anything rounded about the same size. Wrap the sandpaper around it and just go up through there. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. Remember, we don't necessarily have to get all the paint out because it's being painted, but we want it to be smooth and no ridges or anything like that. So I'm gonna go through all that on this and then this will be pretty close to being ready. So now we have all of our pieces fixed, uh, all the drawers repaired. Um, the door's just sitting in here, obviously. Uh, I got the feet off the front, so it's, it's just sitting on a piece of wood because those feet were broken. But uh, what we're gonna do now is take this outside and wash the whole thing down with TSP. Um, just to get any anything that we may have missed cleaned up, degrease it, get it ready for paint. Um, so we'll wipe it all down, and while it's drying, we'll cut all our drawer bottoms, this piece, make our feet, and then work on our uh, pools. So we'll get it loaded up and roll it outside. So we've got our TSP solution and dissolved in some warm water. Be sure you got gloves on. But uh, we're not going to drench it. We're just going to basically just wipe it down. Just like this. Make sure there's no stripper residue left, dust, things like that. And uh, that'll get it ready to be painted. So I'm gonna wipe the whole thing down and do all the drawers and we'll lay them out and let them dry and then we'll be back in the shop uh, cutting the wood pieces. So. so a common question might be, we just sanded the piece, it's all down to mostly bare wood, why do we need to clean it with TSP? And uh, I'm gonna show you why. Uh, Let's look at the water that uh, we cleaned it with. So that was perfectly clean water. And that's what it looks like now. So all that yucky, dirty muck came off of the uh, dresser and the drawers and the insides of the drawers and all that. I cleaned all that up to hopefully get a little bit of that kind of old, old house smell, you know, out of it too. But um, that's why, because there was contaminants, there was dirt, there was a lot of nasty stuff left on that dresser that could have interfered with the paint and the clear coat. So that's why we clean it. It took maybe 25 minutes to wipe down the whole thing, clean it all. We're going to let it all dry real good, which it's not super soaked. Like it's not, it's not like soaking wet. So that's another key point. But uh when that all dries, we'll be ready to spray. So hopefully the weather holds out so we can spray it because I spray outside. So, all right, let's go uh, cut all our drawer box pieces. Uh, so that's all our plywood pieces we've got to cut and then we'll work on those feet. Okay, so the final thing we need to do before we uh, actually start painting it is I cut some replacement panels. You remember how nasty these uh, bottoms looked. So what we're gonna do is Slide them in place like that. I'll put two little short brads in to hold the rear end, and we'll have nice, clean inside drawers. And we're gonna clear coat all these just because they'll have clothing and stuff in there. So we're gonna paint the fronts white and clear coat all of it. So I'm just gonna put these in. that's it so just gotta do all the rest of them all right so to make these replacement feet I've got two blocks of oak uh, that are the same thickness as the feet are and I've marked the center of them and traced the circle of the foot around it so we're gonna take it to the bandsaw and we're gonna kind of get a rough 
shape of the circle, leaving a good bit of extra uh, around it, and then we're going to turn them down on the lathe to match this profile. So. to spray I've got the insides kind of papered off uh, just so I don't get a whole lot of overspray in there and the drawers I've got them papered and taped off so we just get the faces we're gonna be spraying with a HVLP gun high volume low pressure and we're spraying a Sherwin Williams uh, lacquer based uh, white and a lacquer based clear um, so I'll get everything mixed up and we'll show some of that. coats of white on everything now we're going to go over it all with a 320 grit and just knock down all the rough spots and stuff like that we're going to put another coat of white before the clear coat so I'm gonna do that now basically we'll just take and just lightly sand it until it's really smooth so all right, so we got the whole dresser painted, all the drawer fronts, the doors, the feet, the knobs, everything's painted in white. Now what we're gonna do is uh, clear coat it all. And the product that I use, I'll show you. It is a Sherwin-Williams product. It's a, it's a acrylic lacquer. It's pre-catalyzed. That means they mix in a catalyst with it before you get it. We'll spray it with the same spray gun. I don't thin mine out or anything because the spray gun sprays it just fine uh, like it is. We'll do a minimum of three coats, uh, do two coats and then we'll sand it with 320 just like we did on the paint. Put the third coat on and then if we want a little more build we'll kind of repeat that lightly sand another coat, lightly sand another coat just till we get the build that we're looking for. Um, one of the reasons why we spent so much time stripping it down is this thing just looks I mean it looks brand new super smooth you don't see all those old layers of paint and all the thick drips and build ups everywhere I mean it just it looks super nice so we're gonna do that we're gonna spray everything with clear and then after it's all sprayed before we reassemble it these are the uh, door hinges we've got some paint to get off of those and we're gonna polish those we're actually gonna polish the backs of the uh, screws for the pulls as well as all of these little brass uh, keyways that go in all these holes we're gonna polish those up so those are shiny and look like new as well and then when the uh, locks get in we'll insert the locks and it'll be ready to go back to the uh, well we do have to glue the feet on you know and put the door back on all that stuff assembly but then to be ready to go back to the client. So, 
I'll spray it. I'm not going to film it just because it, it looks exactly like spraying the white, except it's just clear. Um, so I'll be back after everything's clear. All right, guys, so the refinished job on the dresser is complete. Um, this is a world of difference how this thing looked when it first came in. We've got uh, everything is back as it should be. All the drawers open up nice like they should. Uh, just a recap of what we did. We had to strip all the old layers of paint off of it. Um, we had to do some repair on this inside, replace that little piece right there. Um, all of the drawer bottoms were replaced and clear coated. Two of the drawers were re-glued. Uh, the dovetail uh, had come loose. The handles were stripped. Two feet were removed and uh, remade. So we made two replica feet down there. The old lock mechanisms were removed. Uh, the lock faces were polished and the lock mechanisms were replaced. We have these skeleton keys now that lock them just like it did when it came from the factory, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, it's got a white and a clear coat on it, so ought to hold up for another 60, 70 years, however old it is. Um, I think it came out nice, looks good, and on to the next project. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I guess I'll see you on the next project. Have a good one. Oh, 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 oh,